Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Today I'm going to go over one of our cameras. Uh, we've been getting a lot of calls about it, a lot of interest. It's been a super popular seller. Uh, but there were some common inquiries and common questions that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Uh, so from our main page here, you can go down to the camera section and I'll show you which one we're going to be discussing. Uh, I'm using an Internet Explorer browser uh, specifically because that's the browser that the uh, firmware on the camera actually uh, is, is generally used on. I'm not sure why it doesn't seem to want to play all that well with Google Chrome or Firefox, but in either case, I'm using Internet Explorer here. And this is the model I want to show you guys. It's uh, Maximus Pro X and it's a great camera. Um, it's used in a variety of you know situations, whether it's conferencing, uh, you know, education, healthcare. Uh, there, there's a lot of different uses for it. And if this can load a little bit faster, I'll show you guys uh, exactly what I want to discuss here. Uh, so this camera actually has a lot of inputs and outputs. I'll pull up the side-by-side -side image here, and you can see that uh, it's, it has a good base. It is mountable. Uh, it does come with a system. And so the inputs here are SDI, HDMI outputs actually, uh, LAN for Ethernet, USB, this is audio for a microphone, control for RS, uh, Visca, and power. And this actually supports PoE, so you guys can actually use this uh, just using the Ethernet connection. And this is a multi-output device, meaning that you can actually use capture cards for SDI or HDMI, uh, and you can use all these outputs simultaneously uh, if you really wanted to. So it does have a lot of features. It's, it's you know, really easy to use. It comes with this remote, uh, which you can preset. You can use it to control, til uh, tilt and pan. And it is uh, fairly easy to install. So a couple of things I wanted to go over is once you log in, I already changed this IP address on the camera itself so it didn't have an IP conflict. Uh, with any other devices here in my office, uh, but I changed it to dot one seven seven. I believe it's dot one six two right out of the box. Uh, you put in your password, and this is a live feed of my puppy here. And this is the preview box. This is what you're going to start off with here. And as you can see, it has a twenty times zoom on it, and you can actually control everything from this panel if you really wanted to. Um, and again, it has presets. You can save, you can call, uh, and it's really easy to use. So if you, I'm gonna show you a quick preset function here. So once I zoom all the way out, and you can navigate this on the remote. I think the remote can only do up to nine. Uh, if you're using this GUI, you can do up to pre 99 presets, actually. So you can go hit this button, and it'll go exactly to where you just set it at. All right. So it's really easy to use. Again, this is functional over ethernet, USB, uh, connected right to my computer. And again, depending on what you wanna use it for, you can do the PoE. I'm using the power supply. Uh, and again, this is just connected through a simple switch and then off to my computer. And I'm also running the HDMI output to a TV uh, here in my office while I play with it. Uh, from Again, from the preview menu, you can take pictures, make recordings, listen in, uh, make it full screen. Uh, there's a bunch of different options here. The log just shows you uh, different things that are going on in case you're having issues. But I wanted to show you the configuration page here, uh, the version, all that stuff. So a couple really important things to point out. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the network here. So you can set it up in a variety of different ways. And again, I already set this one up to 177 and set up my gateways. And you can do, again, a number of different things with it. Uh, you can set up your ports, however you guys want to use it. The great thing about this particular camera that I actually got working quite quickly yesterday was, as you can see here, this is the protocol for YouTube Live. You can actually, if you have a YouTube Live account, which is really easy to set up, uh, you can just go in there take that information, put it right in here, hit enable, and you can stream straight from the camera to YouTube Live without needing anything else. So once you have it set up, you set up your server ports here uh, for YouTube Live, enable RTMP, and you can actually stream live to YouTube. You can, you can do the same thing for 
uh, Facebook, which is a different type of setting. Uh, you need to set it up slightly differently. I was just doing the YouTube because I happen to have an account. Again, if you want to change the RTSP port numbers, um, all that stuff you can do from these menus, which is really easy, really easy to set up. Um, and again, it, this camera is, you can set up multiple cameras and then use a switch to actually set up multiple feeds. You can use a freeware software like OBS. So once you actually have the camera set up and you have them running over ethernet, for example, you can have, you know, nine different cameras all with uh, a split screen going to a free software like OBS and you can watch all your cameras simultaneously, which is a cool little feature. Again, here we have some different options for 1080, 720. And again, this camera is H265 possible uh, if you guys need that. And there's all sorts of different options in here for encoding, audio, AAC. Uh, you can actually, uh, again, this, this unit does have a USB output, so you can go straight USB to your computer as well um, if you just want to use it that way. And there's all sorts of different options in here that you can play with and you know, change on the fly, brightness, sharpness, hue. You can flip it, save. You know, it's really, it's really easy to manipulate all the settings uh, right from the GUI that's on the computer. And again, this is a firmware, not a software. Uh, so you don't need to install anything. You just log into the web, uh, web address that you set up there. Uh, and again, there, there's all sorts of different options in here. These cameras have been tremendously um, popular through us. Uh, and, and again, we've had probably customers from every walk of life already purchase some of these and they really like them. They're super easy to use. Uh, you can, uh, again, it's really easy if you're just running this over a network to have a variety of these um, pointing at different things and you can set them up over one system and configure them. And again, if you're using capture cards or streaming, you know, SDI uh, for live events, whether you're in house of worship or, you know, doing a football game uh, at a high school or college or even the pros, you can do a number of different things with this stuff. Uh, so again, I just wanted to show you that it, it's super easy to set up. It doesn't require really any configuration whatsoever. All I did was plug it in my computer, typed it in and immediately you're up and running. And you can start, again, as I noted, you can just start recording right away. Uh, you can start playing with your pictures and doing presets. So again, hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, really no configuration needed. Uh, depending on what you wanna use it for, you can set it up with a laptop, put it somewhere uh, and have it streaming there permanently. Uh, I always suggest that ethernet's probably the best way to go, especially since it does have PoE. And again, going back to the page, there's a whole lot of different stuff you can use. It, like I said, it does have the 485 for control, uh, audio input, and again, it does work with our controller too, the Maximus control, uh, which is really great. And again, multiple outputs simultaneously. So you can be doing live video, uh, in-house production, and also you can stream it simultaneously to YouTube Live. So suppose that you, know, you wanna have a conference, but you want people to watch a conference from outside of the office, and you can also give other employees the YouTube Live uh, connection. So if you have employees around the country, they can all watch it simultaneously. Uh, and, and again, the camera does have uh, a Sony um, lens. Uh, it is a fantastic picture. I don't know if you could actually see how good it is on this recording that I'm making, but again, full 1080p, uh, it's really, really easy to use. And it comes with uh, a bunch of free options that you can immediately start using right away uh, and you can start sharing your, your live videos or in some cases record videos and you can put them up on the internet later. All right guys, hopefully you learned something today. If you have any questions, give us a call. 1-800-521-8467. Uh, you can find all of our information here on the website. Uh, and again, if you have any uh, questions or concerns or wanna discuss, uh, just reach out to us. Thanks.